Hello, my loves. So, you're going to be sick and tired of looking at this face over the next few weeks because this is the face you're going to see on my videos for the next six weeks. I literally, excuse me, there was a hair in my eye. I, you, I actually went through every step I did except eyeliner and eyelashes, I think. Yes, I think that's the only step I didn't film because I do have an eyeliner tip video that I'm working on as well as, and I did talk about the inner waterline eyeliner. I just didn't talk about the other. Plus, I wasn't sure about these lashes. It's the first time I've ever worn these and I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. So, um, we, we shall see. We shall see. So, yeah, um, if you look forward to spending a few minutes with me every Monday and seeing how I got this look. Just stay tuned and keep watching. So the eye look we're going to do today is going to be really, really simple. I'm not going to do eyeliner tips in this video because I have a whole video I want to do on those. Um, how I do my winged eyeliner, that kind of thing. If that's a video. Okay, this tip is going to be lining the waterline. Now, I tried doing this video in full makeup and my filming skills, I couldn't really get you to see um, what I was doing. So we're going to try this again, bare face, because this is normally the first step I do, well the next step I do anyway, and what I tried to do was do it at the end of the video and it didn't work. And you guys really did not need to know all that, but there it is. I am going in with the Maybelline Eye Studio, as always. I feel like and I am <clears throat> literally lifting my eye I'm not pulling and the only reason I'm doing it today is so that you guys can see what I'm doing normally I go in and I just do it this way but I want you guys to see that little lip <laughs> okay if you can't do gross things don't watch this but that little lip that you have there, I've already got a couple marks. And this is going to be really hard, but I do want you guys to kind of see. Let me try on this eye because I didn't happen to put it. You see that lip underneath my eyelashes? I like to get that really good and black. And I do use, I just got my finger. This is so hard. And even with nothing on, you really can't tell the difference, can you? Whoops! There again, my imperfections. And I do that on both eyes. If I could, oh, yes, I wish you guys could understand that the struggle is real. So see, oh yeah, that's better. You guys can see that better. And I just blacken that. I go all the way down to the, each corner. Again, it's so hard to do. Yeah. And what that's going to do is when I put my mascara on, it's going to look like, because where I have no lashes, like let me get up close. We've talked about this before, but I don't know if you guys have ever really passed. There's none. There's some right here and then literally none right there. <clears throat> so, and very, very few bottom lashes. By doing that, when I do put my mascara on, it does make them look a little bit longer, a little bit fuller, because it's got more of that black going back, if that makes sense. Okay, now, the other thing I do is the bottom waterline. I'm going to hiccup, sorry. So, there's two ways you can do this. Well, there's lots of ways you can do the, bo the bottom water line for color. You can, you can definitely put a color in there. If you have larger eyes, and a color in there is going to look so pretty. If you have smaller eyes, not so much because it's going to close those eyes up. So what I do is when I'm filming, I literally go to the milk pencil. I know people have not been using the NYX milk pencil in forever, but I'll use this on my bottom water line. Or I'll use a natural color. This one is one I got in BoxyCharm, and I'm really liking it. It's called Elizabeth Elizabeth Bont Smooth Shadow. 
And I'm going to go with this one today because I have to go to work. So on camera, like I said, I'll use the white because it, what it does, it is extends the whites of my eyes. So it looks like my eyes are actually bigger. And then if I go in with the nude, some of that black transferred, it don't normally do that. If I go in with a nude, well on camera that does not look nude. And I don't usually pull down. I'm just showing you guys, like I said, on camera, how to do it. And I will go back in with a clean comb like and just kind of make sure I get some of that out of my eyelashes because I want my eyelashes to stand out as much as I possibly get them to. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you can tell or not how much bigger that makes my eyes look. I know once I have the makeup on, you'll definitely see it all come together. Like I said, some of this stuff is going to look really weird to y'all <laughs> until you see the finished look, which actually is in my intro. So, you know, you can always rewind, go back and look and see how it looks in the finished product. So, yeah, that is how I'm currently doing that. And I, the other thing with doing these videos is I feel like it's, it's given me content for so many Mondays because you're seeing each individual thing that I do because I've had questions about individual processes. So... That being said, my process just change. So, you know, you may see me do my eyes completely different. Like that freeze gel from Anastasia is a new product to me. I've only had it a couple weeks, but it has definitely become a number one in my book. So, I feel like we can do this and then I can go back through and do a different look with all different tips. So, don't think when this look is done, the Monday Makeup Minute is done because it's not. I got lots of tips and tricks for y'all. Love yous. Bye.